हेलो माय फैमिली मेंबर्स टोटल सिक्स टू सेवन कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस वेयर आस्ट ऑन ट्वेंटी एट तो अगस्त ऑफ एक्सेंसर ऑन कैंपस ड्राइव अमंग देम आई अपलोडेड टू क्वेश्चंस ऑन ट्वेंटी एट तो अगस्त नाउ आई विल शेयर फोर क्वेश्चंस इन दिस वीडियो यू नो व्हाट एवर योर कॉलेज और व्हाट एवर योर यूनिवर्सिटी वॉच द प्ले लिस्ट रिगार्डिंग एक्सेंचर रिसेंट ऑन कैंपस कोडिंग क्वेश्चन लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिकॉज साम ऑफ देम आर रिपीटेड एंड लाइक लाइक पासवर्ड वेलीडेटर जी सी डी ऑफ टू नंबर पेलिंड्राम नॉट these type of questions are being repeated right so let's start with the first question so the first question is on password validator uh, you are given a string str your track is to find the number of checks that is not satisfied by the string str by checking the validation of the string str if it's a strong password or not a password is strong or a password is a strong password only if it contains at least 6 characters and at most 22 characters it must contain at least one upper case at least one lower case and at least two special characters and at least one numeric value and must not contain any two same consecutive character and the input format is the input consists of a single line the first line contains a string str Output format is print the number that represents the number of checks that is not satisfied by the str. And the constraint is this. And example sample input is here. The password is given like this. Test at one two three hash. Look at here carefully. Uh, in this password, there is a capital letter. There is a small letter. There is two special character. Has and at the rate, and there is one. I mean, at least one numeric value, right? And the total length is between six to twenty-two, and there are no uh, consecutive element present in this password. So that's why there is no fault. I mean, there is no uh, check, right? That's why the output is zero. And in this case. The second second input A B C D. There are four faults. That's why the output is here. The faults are uh, in this case there is no capital letter. This is one fault. Uh, there is uh, the length of this is less than six. So that's why it, it, this is second fault. And the third fault is there. There should be two special character, but this is not. Uh, not containing so this is third fault and the fourth fault is there are no numeric values right so so that's why the output is four right so without any delay let's solve this problem just let me write the code very fast right okay def is strong password length okay length okay is equal to 6 less than equal to length of password less than equal to 22 it, it is checking that if the length is between 6 to 22 upper case okay is equal to any c dot e upper for c in range password actually in this line this uh, this is actually using a generator right and the any function is to Check if at least one character C in the password string uh, is an upper case character. C dot is upper, right? And uh, the result is assigned to the upper case okay variable. And the similar way we will now do for lower case as well. Lower case okay is equal to we'll write the same right. Just in this case, the changes is here. Is lower. Uh, 
and now special character okay special cat okay check some in this case also we are using generator right address has the special characters for c in range sorry c in there should not be any i mean this type of uh, syntax i mean the keyword range should not be used here right c in password right and consecutive cares okay all password i not equal to password i plus 1 we are checking that if the i element is not equal to i plus 1 then it will okay right uh, for all the elements right for for i in range length of password minus 1 right okay i hope this is going okay now let's declare a fun declare a variable that is check not satisfied this is actually what we have to return right checks not satisfied is equal to zero we are now counting what are the faults and how many faults are there right so if not length lng th length okay if so then we will do check now we have to copy this because we are going to use this many times if the length is not okay then we will do this and again just let me copy this if not upper case okay then also we will do this uh, work right and let me copy paste this for three four times one two three four I think this will be okay so let's copy the lower case as well uh, yes lower case if lower case not okay then we will also add one to the check not satisfied right and if the special characters not okay I mean they are not containing uh, at least two special characters then we will also update the check not satisfied by adding one actually in this line there was a fault that is we have to check if this is greater than equal to two or not we are checking actually if there are uh, two or more than two special character present in the password right so we have to give greater than equal to two right and one more check that is numeric okay right numeric okay
is equal to any c dot each digit for c in password right okay let me copy this numeric okay if not numeric okay then also check not satisfied will be added and if the consecutive cats okay then also add this right consecutive cats okay then check check not satisfied will be added one right okay now let's return the value of check not satisfied it will return how many times the check was not satisfied okay now read the input first password is equal sorry uh, this should not be used because this is a keyword right password is equal to input and the result is is strong the uh, we are calling the function right and just print the result it will be okay i think okay now let's run the code i think this will be okay so the first input was test at one two three has right enter this is zero right so the answer is okay and for the second input that is abcd there should be output 4 right because this is not maintaining all the conditions right so i hope you have got the logic i i don't think i have to explain further if you think i i have to explain then please let me know right i will explain okay the next question is Actually, the question is regarding cool string, right? Uh, Bob has a string S of length N that contains lowercase English alphabets only. A string is considered a cool string if the following condition meets. Length of the following is even. And for all odd indices, SI is equal to is equal to SI plus 1, right? And allies asked you to find the minimum number of characters to remove from S to make it a cool string input format is this the input consists of a single line and output format is this print the number that represents the minimum number of characters to be removed to make it a cool string and the output will be matched to the candidates output printed on the study out and the constraints is this and here is the sample input a a b b d a b d c c c c and the output is 3 explanation is given here and second input is this and output is this you know i am not explaining uh, the questions in this video i am just showing you the questions and if you face any problem then let me know i will give you the solution in the comment section right okay let's go to the next question that is that is about team formation allies is planning to organize a contest with four players in each team there are two types of players named experienced and freshers to make the contest unbiased. Allies wants to have a team in such a way that each team must contain at least one experienced and one fresher. You are given n uh, number of experienced and m number of fresher. Your, your task is to determine the maximum number of team formation possible. Note that no team member can join more than one team. Here is the input format and output format that is the first line contains two space separated integers n and m and the output is the print the number that represents the maximum number of team formation possible and constraints are these and the input format is space separated n and m value and the output is 2 because the explanation is given to you please pause the video and try to solve the problem this is for you please pause and solve 
if you face any problem to solve this code then please let me know i will give the code at evening right assume that this is your exam time and you have to write the code by yourself right so please pause and solve so the last question is about factorial calculation you know i will not read the question because this is short question and this is visible very clearly to you please pause and solve right and please 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 if you face any problem while solving this code then let me know i will solve your code right in the comment section you know on 28th august there were six to seven questions asked and again it may happens that uh, uh, on 29th august again six to seven question will be asked so how can i make video for all of them so to make you updated i am just giving you the questions so that you can prepare well right so before ending the session i am again requesting you to please watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus previous year question there the link will be given in the description box and please subscribe this channel thank you